This is the trip I've been dying to do for years now. The North Saskatchewan River for a few days on a homemade barrel boat, solar powered. Crazy neighbor is here, as well as uh, various members of his family and my family for a send off. So we're gonna throw some solar panels on this and get into the water right away. Power. I hope so. If we get any sunshine, get that, eh? It's like we knew what we were doing. Kind of, sort of. So far, it could be worse. We're launching the the water is uh, really shallow, so hopefully we can uh, we can get ourselves in there without getting too wet. What's the fun if we don't get wet? <laughs> you need to put this life jacket on and I'm not getting wet? Well. Okay. I guess you will fill though. Uh. <laughs> We're going to be ready to get our boots on here because things are things are shallow. <laughs> All right, safe to say this trolling motor um, somehow works. We definitely didn't think it would, but uh, <laughs> this will steer us just fine. Yeah, that was nerve-wracking and kind of a an ominous start to uh, to the trip. Steve, I'm getting dizzy. Oh yeah, we'll straighten her out here. Fantastic. Oh hey, that works like a hot tap. This thing, she steers her just fine. Here, you want a chair, Steve? Yeah, I'll take a chair. Go for some chair. And I'm curious, I don't know, can you see how deep we're we're floating? No, I can't see. I think it looks it looks about like last time. For anyone new to these adventures, uh, this is a raft we took out last year, and we've added some solar panels onto the thing with a little 40-pound Enduramax Minn Kota trolling motor. We were skeptical if this would push the uh, the raft around, but it does brilliantly. So if the sun would cooperate with us, we would hook up these panels, and we could actually probably sail pretty close to full speed the whole way. But we're conserving power because of the clouds, and that means we're going to have to do a little bit of drifting. And these boats don't like to, this little raft doesn't like to perfectly track down the water, so it's, we kind of just spin around and get to enjoy the view 360. So we're in the North Saskatchewan River, and we're going for a few days uh, until we run out of food or, uh, or water or anything like that. So his crazy neighbor is joining me on the adventure. He is 
not my neighbor anymore. I've moved, but uh, people will know will know him if you follow the channel. So we're going to put some tarps on here on the sides. We're going to get the, everything wired up. We have a little heater in here for uh, to keep us warm at night because it is getting down to fairly close to freezing at night actually. So that's 32 Fahrenheit or zero degrees Celsius. I think but you said uh, plus four for a low. Plus four Celsius. So it's it's yeah, getting there. It's like chilly. Refrigerator temperature. Oh, and we're getting into shallow water here. Uh, we're probably in like two feet of water right now, and I don't like hitting that sideways. Oh, it's deepened right back up again. So I'm anticipating we're going to have to use our push poles. Uh, we already have actually, but uh, we don't want to. We don't want to break the trolling motor because no. it would be a long float to Edmonton. So we're using a 12 volt system, so I'm going to wire these all up in uh, parallel and that'll get us our 12 volts to charge with. And it's not the cleanest install, but it's just a temporary install. That'll hopefully give us all the power we need. There's a nice little beach here in an eddy that we're going to hopefully get to and put up our side panels and probably set up camp for the night. Really nice area here. And provided it uh, doesn't get too shallow on us, we should be fine. Now we, we need a really steep shore, uh, nothing nothing too gentle because otherwise the river goes up and down and we'll get we'll get beached as we did last year. Let's just before we get there, see if I'm gonna swing the back end around so we know it's there. Okay. okay. Here we go. Three, two, one. Nosing in. Yep. Oh, this is perfect. Ah! Isn't that good? Yeah. Did your feet get wet? Nope. Nice and dry. Awesome. That's great. Oh, look at this. Just step off the boat, eh? Yep. Oh, I think we learned a thing or two last year, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, worked out really good. Oh, we got company out here. There's uh, there's some moose tracks, and they're in the rut right now. So we want to stay on good terms with them. Thicker tarp. Yeah. Yeah, we're all set up. We uh, stapled the tarps on. Crazy neighbor went uh, a little crazy with the staples, but uh, <laughs> he can pull them out. Uh, and uh, we have had a pretty full day getting out here, getting everything set up. We're just getting in the groove now. So we're going to throw on a little grub. Real basic uh, cans of chili with some garlic bread. Um, got two different types. There's stag, which I like, and then I found this Campbell's chunky chili. Um, home style versus classic. I think they'll mix together okay. I don't know. But uh, yeah, we're gonna hit the hay real quick because that was a. a humdinger of a day. The amount of stuff we actually had to reinforce. Uh, all these corner pieces were gone. Uh, rigging it up with solar. We've got the four solar panels that are actually forming the roof on the top for us. But yeah, it'd be an early night. 
in an early morning because we got a lot of river to cover if we're actually going to get back on time for Thursday. Alright, grub time in your bowl. Thank you so much, sir. You're welcome. <laughs> we'll be sleeping good tonight. Holy. About time to hit the hay. Uh, it was a big day today, even though it might not have looked like it. But we're going to have to hit the river pretty early in the morning because our batteries are at about 100% still. And if we're getting the sun that I'm anticipating, we want to put that power to good use uh, heading down the river. So um, we don't want to waste any juice. But uh, yeah, we got a documentary we're going to throw on here called Arctic Tomb about the Franklin exploration uh, that ended in tragedy. I don't know if that's type of uh, marine sort of thing we should be watching, but uh, we're watching it tonight. So, we'll catch you guys in the morning. We got several more days out on this river, but we're fully supplied with lots of food. Good morning. We've made it through the night and uh, we're not beached. The water level went down a bit, but uh, we can still push off from here. That's good. Uh, we're waiting for the clouds to clear a little bit because we're only getting about 10 watts. What does it say? Um, what does it say here? Let's come up to oh, Such right now. Six watts of solar power yeah. off of this 400 watt system. So uh, I looked on the radar, the satellite radar, and it shows that the clouds should be clearing here in a little bit. And then we'll, uh, we'll have some juice to keep going down the river and we'll find our next little spot the battery is completely charged that's hard to believe but uh, charge controller says it's on a float charge now so with all the juice we used yesterday we were still able to keep it maintained and then recharge enough this morning even under overcast skies that we can keep going so that's uh, pretty incredible like to think what you could do in actual middle of June July on a sunny day, here we are in, yeah, what is this? We on October yet? <laughs> no, middle of September, uh, it looks like October, but uh, yeah, middle of October and we can actually still sustainably go down the river under overcast conditions. That is crazy. We're gonna push it for a little more distance today and see how far we can get down the river. How are we doing? I think we're underway. We are underway. You filming? Oh yeah, I've been filming the whole time. <laughs> we're going faster than he is. Farmer really likes to plant grain right to the edge of the field there on the cut bank. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, how do you even seed that? She's got a jet on the back of that thing. Did you get a shot of the farmer's field fault? This is the island you talked about, we stay to the right? Yep. 
The North Saskatchewan River is a strange one for gold. It's flower gold and it's fairly evenly distributed. Except it doesn't conform to where you'd think. You don't find it on the inside curves. Uh, you'll find gold in places that you're not supposed to and then other places you'd expect it. There's nothing there at all. Somebody's out there doing a little gold panning in my favorite spot. I was gonna pull in there uh, get the pan a little wet, but uh, not today. We'll give him a space. Okay. We've hit our first severely low water here. I've had to raise the uh, outboard out. Okay, I think that's that's a little bit better. This is there's no good spot in this river. There is an island right in the middle, and on the other side, it's just about as shallow. And over here, we just have a little ways to go that we should be we should be in the clear as soon as I can get this trolling motor back in the water. Okay, that's much better. I think uh, I think we're in the clear for now. Yeah, if we balance out the load, we won't scrape so bad. We're in a little more shallow water here. Oh, is she ever. Yeah, okay, and then we got some white caps over there, some very small ones, but uh, just a little, little tricky stretch to navigate here, and then we'll be in the clear for a bit. Someone's doing a little not-so-stealth camping there. This is, this is close to where I was living in my van down by the river years ago. Bridge coming up is the first boat launch that we could get out on if we were having trouble. Everything is going fine, so we are not going to call for help, and we're going to continue on down the river. Battery is 12.4, 33 watts, average 2.7. Okay, so we've still got uh, a fair bit of battery power. That'll last us through the day. I'm really hoping on these clouds to clear up, because, you know, we're with 32 watts of solar out of 400 watts of panels. That won't do. We're running the trolling motor at about 30%. And that'll still be using 120 watts at least. But uh, I'm praying for some sun. Somebody has a high banker set up and they're doing some gold mining under our little boat launch area there. stuck a little bit so we're gonna get us moving around here and past the uh, past this boat launch here okay yeah we just shift the weight around a little there we go now yeah, we're we're floating kind of
gonna have to steer around an island here. A lot of these islands do this. There's a little backwater on one side and then the main channel's on the other. And without Google Maps, we could get ourselves into some trouble unless you really know the river well. It cor changes course year by year, so it can be a little bit tricky. But we dodged a bullet here because see a big log jam over there. And that's not where we want to go. Yeah, steel leaders, right on. Look. Reel them in. Let's wear them out first. Oh yeah, it's spiking. Yeah, it's spiking. All right. Oh, first cast, did you see that? Yeah, that was unbelievable. I've never seen anybody catch a fish in North Saskatchewan until now. What do you got there? I don't know. Woo! guy is but uh, he was uh, a good good find yeah somebody might know what it is I'm sure you will know have a rip of the hook if you can yeah there you go yeah but there on the north go. Saskatchewan hook in the air yeah. on the north Saskatchewan they really don't advise to eat them or keep them so and we're not fishermen <laughs> <laughs> we got no <laughs> no bait. We're just using a, hey, hook in the a lure. Air. But yeah, that was fun. Well, now I've seen it all. Yeah. Yes, the low water. It's really a testament to how high this thing floats in the river. We've uh, we got stuck kind of once, but just rocked ourselves out. And this is a very low river level. It doesn't doesn't get a lot lower than this. A little bit, but not much. I think we'll be able to put this motor down in just a moment. As soon as we get past that ripple up there, that looks a little bit rocky. Thanks for the pull, Darcy. Oh yeah, Mater. We're coming up some rough waters here. We're gonna have to uh, ride this out. Things could get shallow and yeah, this is nothing compared with serious rapids, but on a homemade boat full of lumber and, and stuff on a questionable river, it's more excitement than we normally like. Okay, we're gonna need a push pull, I think. Alrighty. I'm heading right for that. Uh, I'm gonna push from the back because it was pushing the front door. Okay. Well, maybe okay. She looks she actually looks pretty deep, so that's that's good. Big rocks over there though. Huge rocks. And possibly dead ahead of us. Hold on. Yeah. 
big one there. We're probably going to hit on that. Backwards. That's great. Okay. Yeah. All right. I think. I think we're in the clear. Yeah. All right. That did the job. Awesome, yeah. Get uh, all this good stuff here. Very unusual to see uh, actual bedrock of any kind. Like this is uh, sandstone. But even still, this river is normally just clay and silt, like this type of stuff that uh, erodes on the banks. Okay, uh, now that we've had our heart attacks, uh, it's time to get the trolling motor running again. And, uh, we haven't got the sun we wanted to today. We've been charging at about 50 or 60 watts and running the motor sparingly. But we have to conserve our juice here. So I'm gonna look for a suitable spot it's actually coming up to five o'clock or so or four o'clock somewhere in there and even if the clouds do part right now we're not going to get that prime sunlight we need to continue the journey so i don't want to go park somewhere with like no battery left we are going to find a spot and pray for a little sunshine tomorrow to propel us on our journey further so we got about three hours left of sunlight here until it uh, until it goes down we could trickle charge the battery up a little bit more, but uh, really I'm shocked that we've gone this far. I'll, I'll figure out the kilometers on this, but uh, you know, we've, we've gone this far on just the juice we've uh, got in the battery and it's been topped up by this. We'd be, we'd be completely out of battery by now and I think we're at 50%, so it's, it's really been doing a good job. Yeah. 12.5 volts and it's only charging at 33 watts right now so we may squeeze a little more into this panel overnight and in the morning or the rest of the evening and in the morning but yeah let things charge we found a little inlet here which looks perfect it's out of the main river channel and if we pull in there we can set up camp for the night Good exposure to the sky as far as sun goes for charging things up. And we've got a bar of cell service out here. So that's very good. We found an awesome spot. And this is our campsite for the night. Yeah, didn't want to go any further anyhow. Oh, holy cow. Okay. Don't jump. <laughs> <laughs> I think we better find a piece of wood. I think we need a boarding plank. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, that's a... Uh... Okay, we'll find a couple <laughs> of pieces of wood to step on. Spot looks good. too good to be true. <laughs> oh, wow. yeah. Oh, gee. <laughs> we moved to a different spot where it's less uh, quicksand, but... Time for a little fire. Fire time.
one thing to keep in mind if you're trying to light a driftwood stump on fire is how much mud and um, water is actually in there. So we're going to go with what I think is called the top-down fire. I've seen a few bushcrafters do this little trick. And uh, if this doesn't get her rocking, I don't know what will. That's a start. Looks good. Welcome to I Have No Idea How to Fish with Steve. Well, we got a fishing rod and Glenn already caught one. We have no idea what it was, but there may be more as soon as I get this casting thing down. Biggest issue we have on this river is just the water levels being so low. And they go up and they go down throughout the course of 24 hours as they open and close the uh, hydroelectric dam. However, I'm going to put in a marker here just to get a general sense of uh, what the water level is doing right now. Because I don't want to see this thing completely empty and us stuck here for another 24 hours until it goes back up again. We budgeted enough time to get home safely if that's the case, but still, I don't want to be trapped here for a day instead of uh, out in the good fishing of the North Saskatchewan River. We found the barrel uh, is collapsed at the very back and we're going to blow it up with uh, this broken pump and actually see the uh, inner workings. But it seems to work good enough. We'll pop out all the barrels on this side and hopefully that'll give us enough extra flotation power because the, the water could be quite low in the morning. We're done for. We're not going to get any air pressure in there. Oh, yeah. Ah, hand pump would have been clever to bring. Okay, all right. Yeah, well, we... we're not going to sink. Hey, hey. Yeah. Uh, crazy neighbors just putting the finishing touches on the tarps on the boat for the night. And I'm trying to upload uh, an update video to the Steve Wallace Step 2 channel. Except if I hold it up like this, it goes real quick. But I can't do that for very long. Not as long as they want. Half an hour? Yeah, right. I got like one bar of maybe LTE. So I'm going to tape this onto one of the push poles off the boat. And hoist it up to get uh, better upload speed. Should do the trick. Okay. All right. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that that should do. And uh, I'll turn the antennas facing towards the tower. But don't worry, it's in a case. I'll prop it up in here. That'll give me the upload I've only ever hoped and dreamed of. Oh, playing a video. Cool. <laughs> There's some corned beef sandwiches. Almost the uh, Imitation Rubens out here on rye. Was a heck of a day. Ups and downs, trials and tribulations. This should be all right. Looks okay. Yeah. Yeah, that looks awesome. Worked out good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, we'll be eating good tonight. Cream of mushroom soup. 
and uh, corned beef uh, corned beef sandwiches. I'm gonna hit the hay here right now, and then uh, tomorrow's another day, and we'll see what that brings for us. Uh, check in with you guys in AM. Overcast again. I normally do like this weather when I'm camping, but not when uh, we're relying on the power. But we had a couple of splashes right in this pond overnight, and something bumped into the boat. It didn't seem friendly. So I don't know what that was. I don't know, beaver or something, or I don't know. Who knows what's out here? I know there's sturgeon, but they wouldn't be in this little shallow part here. So we're going to take the tarpage down and continue on the journey. From where I put the stick in yesterday, we're up slightly, so probably a half inch higher than when we came in. And the river's either on its way up or on its way down. It never kind of rests at any plateau. So that's good. We will be able to putt right out of here with no concerns. And the higher the river is, the less navigating we have to do to stay out of the really shallow spots which means the less battery we have to use. So this is going to be awesome. So the sun's came out. It's been mostly cloudy though. Uh, we're getting a little break here and there with some sun. And we're charging at about 200 watts into the uh, main battery here. So hopefully if we get another five or six hours of this, we'll be fully charged by the time we're uh, setting up camp for the night. And this is not the peak summer sun and we're in a northern climate on overcast days. I'm actually shocked, um, completely shocked that this, this worked. I was expecting to just be floating the whole way, but we've been managing to actually use the trolling motor pretty much constantly other than a few breaks here and there if the battery was dipping too low but yeah uh. neighbors made some corned beef sandwiches for a nice little midday snack or some people call it lunch I don't know <laughs> still a little ways to go and we've lost our son for now but our fingers are our fingers are crossed mm -hmm. you make a good sandwich well thank you we made them last night so pretty good and yeah, we're stuck. That's what seems to happen on this river sometimes. So, see if we can uh, get us moving here by shifting some weight around on the boat. Oh. We're moving. Yeah, okay. That's good, we just have to... Rock the boat. Rock the boat and uh, hopefully we'll We'll drift out of here real quick. That goes up to some guy's private residence, I bet you. Yeah, he's got his own private little deck out there. Look at the fishing up on the top of the hill there. Yeah. Okay. We found a good spot and we've tied up. Uh, our solar power was low. 
and we couldn't go any further. Of course, the sun comes out right at the end of the day, so we can't really charge much more. But we found a really good island here. Uh, it's absolutely beautiful out now um, that we're done traveling for the day, but I'll go explore around this island a little bit, and then we'll jump in and do a look around in the boat. Okay, for the full look around inside the boat, we've got our solar charge controller there. And that um, is feeding this deep cycle battery. That's 130 amp hours. We've got a spare one there. It's only 31 amp hours. Our toolbox. Our Minn Kota 40 uh, pounds. Oh, crazy neighbors throwing rocks. Oh, hey, crazy neighbor. Got our can of uh, some beans and bacon on the butane cylinder stove. And that's just what I like. Got a couple of cots set up. Both sides here. Bunch of storage tubs for miscellaneous dishes, etc. We're using a Mr. Buddy heater in here for our heat source. And that's uh, powered outside here uh, via hose from a propane cylinder. That was our broken uh, air pump that we were going to hope to inflate our barrels with. We brought Blue Betty along and another propane cylinder because you can't have too much propane out here on the river. We're using some Sked 10 uh, sprinkler poles, courtesy of Cindy and Darcy. Thank you guys very much. They have saved our butts a few times here. Of course, we have uh, the, the paddle, just in case, as well as uh, some life jackets, a bunch of dry socks, and uh, yeah, the, the inside, we got our fire extinguisher, a bunch of um, biodegradable green bin liners that could go into a bucket in case of emergency. Uh, if we're out at uh, out on the river and we need to use the bathroom, but uh, yeah, the 400 watts of solar panels, uh, the real cheapies, they're polycrystalline, so they're not the good ones in low light, unfortunately. That would have helped us out a bit. And the charge controller, unfortunately, is also not an MPPT, that's a PWM. They're just less efficient, I guess. But can't beat the view out of the kitchen for the night. I really like that. That's about all there is in here. Oh, the Jackery also. And that charges up, uh, charges up a few things. And we're going to have to hook the Jackery up to the other battery to charge it because it's at 34%. And uh, we have a lot of video editing to do. So aside from that, it's pretty much, you know all tarped in on the inside with some uh, flashlights here for indoor lighting. And we have an LED trouble light we can hook, hook up as well. What do you think of the boat? The boat? Yeah. That's good. <laughs> so far. Yeah, we didn't get quite to the town where we need to get an air compressor to fill up our barrels because the sun was not cooperating with us. But in all fairness, it was like very cloudy pretty much all day long and we're well into September here so it's uh, not really the solar power that you'd really get in the summer but if it was sunny yeah we'd be we'd be sailing by now we'd be done the journey so just makes it a little longer and a little funner we've got our water level markers in there so that we know uh, how the water level is changing for tonight. And someone has been camping here 
we've actually left some uh, some toiletries. Oh yeah, here they're all set here. Looks like something else right up here. found the tippy hippie. I don't think they're actually living out here, but who wouldn't want to? Holy. Absolutely breathtaking. Firing. Yeah. Yeah, quite the spot. From up here, I think I can see our raft. flock or a gaggle of geese have set up right beside us and it's dinner time uh, beans and bacon of course because uh, it's uh, we have a big cauldron of this so there's some of it for the morning and beans and bacon in the morning is just fantastic I've made up a couple of grilled cheese sandwiches crazy neighbor would you like one absolutely all right Thank you so much. Grilled cheese. Looks awesome. Grilled cheese on rye with uh, the beans and bacon for dinner. And the forecast shows we could be in luck in the morning, really, hopefully. And uh, by the time we actually get this thing taken apart and down the river, we could be looking at uh, full charge and able to use the motor like full power. Be just fantastic. So, yeah, beans and bacon. And yes, there's lots of ventilation in the tent. We know about the bean thing. <laughs> I'm gonna get comments. <laughs> Good morning. We are beached. The water has gone down probably a foot in level and uh, unfortunately we'll have to get some pry bar action going here to get going. But on the upside, the sun is out today. Um, we're in the only spot that has a shadow right now. Uh, it's on the other side of the trees over there. But uh, it should be up here within the hour and We'll be charging and on the river as soon as we pry this thing out. Worse last year, that's for sure. Way last year. Oh yeah. We're out of the only shady spot of the river. <laughs> Into the sun, out of that only one shady spot of the whole river. Oh well, you live, you learn, eh? Live, you learn.
past the golf course here on the most beautiful day of the float so far. And uh, our solar is holding up. We're getting closer to civilization, you can tell because of um, well, the golf courses. But it is smooth sailing up ahead. Things will get a little shallow here, more than likely. But we should be, uh, we should be set on schedule here. Everything is turning up Steve. Now this is pure paradise. It'd be a good spot to fish if we didn't lose so many lures the other day. How many did we lose? Crazy. I name. didn't lose any lures. I caught <laughs> one fish and two really big rocks. I we see. couldn't get the rocks into the boat because the fishing line broke. Well, yeah, otherwise we'd probably have a line out there right now because this is the spot, I'm guessing. It looks really good from what I know, and I don't know anything about fishing, but it uh, looks like the spot we caught the last one. All I know about fishing is I don't have to buy a license anymore. Yes, the joys of being a senior in this province. Yeah. But uh, yeah, when we were chowing down on our beans yesterday, I thought, you know what would be good with these beans? <laughs> the fish we put back. Um, <laughs> now, we did some research on the internet and we think we know what kind of fish it was. Guessing it's a mountain white fish or a, what was that other one? Burbit or something, I'm not oh, sure. Really I, I really yeah. should. Get but but it was fatter. Yeah. There's a fat silverfish, and the one we caught was kind of a skinny silverfish. Yeah, the, the mountain white fish looked yeah. a little more. But I think it was record size. It had to be like at least <laughs> 10, 11 10 inches. <laughs> <laughs> 10, 11 inches. There's What's been, the record? 12 inches? Uh, yeah, probably. No, there's been these uh, buzzards. Uh, there's vultures following us this whole trip. Uh, yeah, we've seen them day. circling. I think I they know on. something we don't. There they are, right there. You see that? Oh. They're circling us. They've no. been following us for like three days. Those ones aren't vultures, turkey vultures, uh, the big ones soaring overhead. And uh, yeah, they are just waiting for us. <laughs> just waiting for us to break down, I think. But, uh, Steve keeps telling me there's waterfall up ahead. I've never been on this part of the river, so I don't know. I think if you go far enough on every water or every uh, river, you get a waterfall. I don't know. Anyways. Anyway. Uh, next stop, closer into the city. It's quite beautiful and peaceful, but we're stuck. Uh, we let our guard down for a minute, not reading the river on the Google satellite map. And we're on a fairly shallow stretch. We got about a hundred yards to push out that way, probably. And then we can uh, jump back in here and continue the journey. We may have a slight, slight chance coming this way but I have no idea what's over there. That's where we want to be over there. Yeah. I go straight this way. Yeah, it's not very deep. And, uh, yeah. forward we go. Gotta go to the front. stuck we got unstuck we we're pulling ourselves out and we lost one of their poles so I had to take one for the team and jump into the water and recover the lost pole good thing I had my rubber boots on all right uh, mission accomplished we're unstuck and uh, yeah we got to stay on top of the navigation maps we are just starting to relax too much and uh, actually, speaking of which, we're headed right for big, uh, big snag on the side here, and some boulders. So.
really realize how massive these bridge pillars are until you've actually uh, gone underneath of them. I've drove this uh, bridge about a thousand times and uh, first uh, or second time here seeing them from underneath. And they're doing construction. Wow, I don't know who approved that home right on the cliff or the balcony, but uh, you know, compacted dirt on a cut bank should hold that up for a good long time. City. Oh, another bridge, another bridge, and we've got some watercraft out here. Ah, the Edmonton Riverboat, and it looks like it needs a few new barrels on there. Well, I think I've got the true Edmonton Riverboat this year. That thing's, uh, that thing's a little rough. All right, we pulled into the boat launch to meet up with some people for some supplies and a quick visit. And then we're gonna find a place in the city here to hunker down, so to speak. And uh, everything's gonna be all right. We are anchored in the city of Edmonton for a little urban camping, but this time not so stealth and it's legal because we're in the federal waterway, just anchored up here sleeping for the night and we're not drinking. Um, but somebody did slip me a couple of step twos when we got to the shore and uh, we're gonna leave the boat here in a second so that we can uh, crack a step two and give a big shout out to all the sponsors who made this video possible. So it won't be as relaxing of a night with the drone of traffic, but I might take that actually over the honking of geese um, all night and then at five or six in the morning or whenever they wake up. So we're just changing a propane cylinder here because we've gone through 20 pounds already. And uh, yeah, I'll just swap that over and then we're, we're gonna get uh, step two on the shore and we're gonna cook up some food. Okay, so uh, cheers, uh, cheers everybody. Time for a step two, crack ears at home. If you're not old enough for step two, crack Pepsi or whatever your step two may be. Cheers, crazy neighbor. Cheers, Steve. It's been uh, a big journey, just about at the end of it. Boating in the dark, what could possibly go wrong? Well, we, we won't do any boating in the dark. Uh, we don't no. have the lights for it, otherwise we'd be all over that type of adventure. Maybe in the future. But, uh, yeah, cheers to everybody who's donated to this. Uh, thank you all very much. Uh, it's, uh, it's just amazing. So, I'll, I'll leave it at that. But, uh, yeah, we're right in the city. Um, we're not drinking on the boat, but we are drinking in the city. So we're going to have to be... Uh, it's a it's a smaller fine than doing it on the boat and you know we're just out here relaxing looking at the beautiful night sky i don't think they're gonna find us listening to the traffic in the distance but uh, this is the way to camp in the city and kind of thumb your nose at uh, the uh, the laws that say no camping in the city so cheers everyone we're going to uh, crawl into the boat after we enjoy our step two, and we're going to have a delicious uh, meal, spaghetti and meatballs tonight. Last dinner on the river for this trip, the beautiful wife came and topped us up with some supplies. So we're having uh, just a bagged uh, <laughs> uh, Caesar salad. Uh, Spaghetti with meatballs of all things and uh, just frozen pre-cooked things that we put in the pot there and
anything tastes good after day prying this thing off of gravel bars getting wet yeah unbelievable yeah the plan for keeping our feet wet didn't work out too well rubber boots are good but they only work in water that's below the top level of your boot yeah and my my boots were leaking so it's almost like there was a check valve just letting water in unreal It was a fun day. It was a very good day. It was. It was an adventure. <laughs> yeah. I actually met a subscriber today at the uh, boat launch where a beautiful wife was. Yeah. She's supplying us with food. Mm hmm. All right. I snuggled in. It's uh, the Mr. Buddy heater going there. It's nice and warm in here, despite being quite cold on the other side of this tarp. I will be pulling into port tomorrow at some point. So thanks for watching so far on this journey. I'm going to hit the hay and see you in the AM. Huh. Morning. Got to get better at parking this boat. We're in the shade again. Um, it's sunny everywhere except our panels aren't charging. So got to get up. to launch out through the city today. Oh, there's the sun. We can get it. Oh, yeah. Right over there, so close. Let's head there right now so we can charge up. Yeah, we're at 8 watts right now. What's our voltage? 11.7. Oh, that's bad. All right, as soon as we get in the sun, we'll pick up real fast. So it was hard to tell until now that we're actually in a city, and this is a city with a metro population of about a million people, but it's got uh, all this parkland, this huge river valley stretch of parkland on both sides. So a lot of the times you'll be in the river and not even realize that you're in the city, but uh, make no mistake, it is indeed in the city. And uh, we're just coming up to the, uh, the downtown-ish part and we'll be Probably getting off on a boat launch uh, right at the other end of town because today is Thursday and it's about time to upload this thing, I think. Truly beautiful day, but there is a bit of smoke in the air. I think from those uh, from those fires, it's been uh, blown blown over here, and it's impacting our solar charge. We're only getting 107 watts right now, which is less than I'd like to see, but it's enough to get us through the city. We haven't had many more problems with the weight distribution here. I don't think uh, I don't think we're taking on water, but we certainly have a collapsed barrel. So we're, there's not too much further to go. We're not going to really worry about that. We're just going to cross our fingers and uh, hope for the best. But we're not far. Actually, I think the uh, the fire department rescue boat launch is right back there. It was the nicest boat launch in town, and it looks fairly private. Uh, so uh, it would probably be theirs. Yeah, let's let's open her up full throttle. See what we can do. It's uh, this speedometer app. It's actually just called Speedometer. And on the river, depending on the flow, we were getting six, seven kilometers an hour. So in still water, we're only getting about four, five kilometers an hour. 
and this is pretty still water. We're basically uh, basically not moving at all if we had this motor off. So it we we would be nowhere close to here without the whole solar setup. That's uh, that's what we got. Hey, they're building a new bridge there. It's for the train. downtown part and it's gonna look a little more like nature from here on out. Still well within the city limits and there's these wonderful stretches where you can't see any buildings or really hear too too much but around every every turn there's always uh, there's always some more city to see so it's a uh, Stress level increases a little bit in the city. You have to be, uh, I don't know, you have to be kind of looking around all the time for uh, people waving at you, other boats on the water coming towards you, bridge pillars. Well, it was a little more relaxing out in the, uh, out in the country, but it's been a good trip so far. Perfect. Just We've reached our final destination for this year's trip and uh, next year or maybe later this year I don't know I really want to do a much longer one it's all the time we could squeeze in this year with the house and everything so uh, if you like this type of stuff please subscribe it does help out and uh, yeah any suggestions or modifications or, or that type of thing we were in a bit of a rush uh, so there's stuff we wanted to do we didn't really get to but please let me know if you can think of any cool ideas for this for this build uh, thanks for watching and uh, until next week hunker down guys cheers <laughs>